NVMe drive detection issues are among the most common problems Steam Deck users face, particularly after upgrading their storage. Understanding these issues is crucial for successful troubleshooting. Statistics show that 15 to 20% of Steam Deck users experience NVMe detection problems, with the majority occurring after storage upgrades. These detection issues can manifest in two primary ways. The drive may be completely invisible to the system, or it may only be detected intermittently, appearing and disappearing unpredictably. The Steam Deck uses a single M.2 2230 NVMe slot with a PCIe 3.0 interface, supporting storage capacities up to two terabytes. Understanding this hardware configuration is essential for proper troubleshooting. Detection failures typically stem from five main categories of problems. Physical connection issues are the most common, often involving improper seating of the drive in its slot. BIOS recognition problems occur when the drive is physically connected but not properly initialized by the system firmware. File system corruption can make drives unreadable even when detected. Compatibility issues arise when certain NVMe drives are incompatible with the Steam Deck's controller. Power management conflicts can cause drives to enter sleep states that prevent proper detection. The first troubleshooting step is always to ensure proper physical connection. This involves checking that the NVMe drive is correctly seated in its slot and that all contact points are clean and free from debris. Understanding these common causes and starting with basic physical checks provides a solid foundation for resolving NVMe detection issues on your Steam Deck. The first troubleshooting step is physical inspection and reseeding of the NVMe drive. This resolves about 35% of detection issues. Next, access the BIOS to verify drive detection at the hardware level. Hold volume up plus power during boot to enter BIOS mode. In SteamOS, use terminal commands to diagnose drive detection issues. The LSBLK command lists all block devices, while FDisk shows partition information. If basic diagnostics fail, Try advanced recovery methods. SteamOS reinstallation has a 45% success rate, while file system repair using FSCK utilities can resolve corruption issues. Some NVMe drives have known compatibility issues with Steam Deck. Crucial P3 models and QLC-based drives may cause detection problems due to aggressive power management. A combined approach using physical reseeding, BIOS reset, and SteamOS reinstallation achieves a 78% success rate. This systematic method is the most effective troubleshooting strategy.